Hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Smith and welcome to another session on grape varieties. We're looking at Sangiovese on this one and this is our intermediate version. So this one is very much ideal for those of you studying the WSET level two. Um, if you require more information about uh, Sangiovese, its grape synonyms, its etymology, its viticulture, its vinification, its geology, and so on, please check out our advanced version, which is ideal for WSET level three, level four, and above. Okay, so as mentioned, my name is Jimmy Smith. Um, I am the owner uh, and founder of West London Wine School and South London Wine School here in London in the United Kingdom. And I also run a wine bar here in the same city called Streatham Wine House. So I am a, a, an educator and a buyer of wine. Um, if you are in London, please come and see us for a class or a glass and all of the details of the websites are, are below. If you have any comments or questions, please get in touch with me at Wine with Jimmy. Sangiovese um, in this intermediate look is a very sort of uh, basic look at the variety of course at home in Italy where it is of course found therefore in the warmer sites so we'll find it in warm zones Mediterranean and continental parts but mainly Mediterranean down around Tuscany for instance Umbria um, those kind of central parts of Italy which it's famous for it is um, yeah, found in Tuscany where it will craft a lot of key wines like Chianti's, Brunello, uh, for instance. Um, it's, it's, it's actually not from uh, Tuscany originally. We found that out in the last sort of decade or so. It's actually from down in the south of Italy, but its spiritual home today is really quite Tuscan. So Toscana is where we find some of the most um, alluring, wonderful and complex expressions of the grape. It can be found as a single varietal, so you may find it as a single grape variety, 100% within a wine, and that's quite famous in something like Brunello do Montalcino. It also may be found as a varietal in other wines that you'll need to know, like Chianti Classico, for instance. Um, but it is, in fact, today more common to find it blended. And it usually today will be blended with other black varieties found within Tuscany. And they include both local varieties and international varieties. So local varieties of which are Italian in origin and international um, varieties, which tend to be more French in origin, like Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah. Um, now, the variety... Um, is often made in oak barrels, which can be um, normally sort of French or Croatian in origin, but these barrels are very good at um, adding more complexity, slightly oxidizing the wine and curbing the rustic side of Sangiovese. So this may be used for fermentations and or maturations. Uh, so you may find things like chestnuts, you might find tobacco, cigar, um, smoke, uh, these kind of compounds that may come from the oak barrels within Sangiovese and complements its kind of rustic charm. And um, the very best sites of Sangiovese making our high quality premium wines like Chianti Classico and Brunello do Montalcino will have very high tannin and acid components to them, which mean they do age very well. And they will have minimum stipulations on the time in oak as well, due to the fact that um, the wines will be quite austere in their youth. So they will need to develop um, in the oak barrels to make them a little bit more manageable when they go to bottle and go into the market. Sangiovese's key location, of course, is Italy. Um, today, uh, under 100,000 hectares of it is grown. It has decreased over the years, but mainly found in Tuscany or Toscana. Can be found in IGT wines, which is the whole Tuscan region. But then there are, of course, specific subzones which are high quality, and the Chianti group is the most famous. So all of the ones here listed are D O C G that is the Garantita highest quality of Italy. Uh, and the Chianti DOCG is generally a lighter, fresher style and its subzones. And you'll find that these are not the ones that most capable for aging. Chianti Classico will come from the original heartland, the word Classico meaning that heartland of the district. 
And that will often have more complexities to it and oak and will be destined for longer time aging. Chianti Classico Reserva will have a minimum stipulation aging in barrel. Um, so that means there's often a bit more to it, a bit more, um, a bit more character, a bit more premium uh, intensity behind it. And then there is Brunello de Montalcino, which is purely Sangiovese, can only be Sangiovese from one of the most interesting, quite high altitude sites, which mean that you actually get quite a lot of complexity within the wines of Brunello do Montalcino. I've put Reserva and Classico down there as well. Remember, these are terms that are applicable across a lot of uh, Italian wines. The Reserva will often denote more aging, potentially in barrel and or bottle before release. And Classico will mean from the original historical heartland of that region, therefore the land that has a special affinity with the grapevine, producing often the higher quality wines. Its characteristics are that it generally has red fruits, so you'll find cherries, um, red plum, uh, sometimes sort of strawberry or, or mulberry characteristics can be found them as well. If you are finding more black fruit in Sangiovese, that will normally mean it's the variety that's been blended with it that will give it that character. Um, you may find oak, of course, in the background of that picture. Leather, when it ages, is quite common. It can get a little bit meaty and mushroom and cigar and tobacco-like as well. There's also some chestnuts. You'll often find nutty kind of characteristics coming through in complex Sangiovese as well. The acidities will tend to be on the higher end of the spectrum. Sangiovese can be rather high. The tannins will be moderate to high. Now in the premium side of life, that's Brunello do Montalcino and things like Chianti Classico reservas, you will find in fact the tannins are high, but generic Chianti uh, and sort of um, more volume produced Sangiovese will often have quite softening, softening tannins. The alcohols can be anywhere from medium to high uh, and the body of the wines can be anywhere from sort of medium to high as well. So that is our um, very short look uh, at the intermediate level at Sangiovese. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you are, you're enjoying your studies and good luck if you are taking any examinations soon. If you have any questions or comments, please get in touch at Wine with Jimmy or comment here on the YouTube channel uh, and I'll endeavor to get back to you. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.